Hey guys, I'm back with another coding interview practice video. Today's question is, given n pairs of parens, write a function to generate all combinations of well-formed parens. For example, given n equals 3, a solution set is shown on the screen. Our general strategy will be to build up these combinations by adding opening and closing parens one by one. The tricky part will be determining when it's valid to add an opening or closing paren. Let's try to walk through a simple example of n equals 1. We have to start with an opening paren. Then we have to add a closing paren because we've used up all of our opening parens, and we have to close all the unclosed opening parens. And this is it for n equals 1. That didn't provide too much help, so let's move on to n equals 2. Again, we start with an opening paren. Now, since we still have opening parens remaining, we could add another opening paren. And since we have unclosed opening parens, we could add a closing paren. We'll branch and consider both possibilities. For the first path, we've used up all of our opening parens, so we have to close all the unclosed opening parens with two closing parens. For the second path, we still have an opening paren and there's no unclosed opening parens, so we have to add an opening paren. Now that we've used up all the opening parens, we add a closing paren to close the unclosed opening parens. And that's it for n equals 2. This walkthrough was pretty helpful in determining what info we need to keep track of. We kept track of the current state of the combination string the number of opening parens we have available to us, and the number of opening parens that haven't been closed. Now let's go back to the problem. I'm going to be using recursion to solve this problem. Why recursion? One, I like it because the code tends to be shorter and more elegant. Two, in this problem, we're going to be repeatedly performing the same actions and checks while we build up our combinations. So recursion feels natural. We'll create a recursive helper function that will take as arguments the info we need to keep track of, the current state of the combination string, the number of opening parens we have available to us, and the number of opening parens that haven't been closed. Back to the main function. When n is 0, we'll return the empty list since there are no combinations. Otherwise, we'll call the helper function with an empty string, n available opening parens, and zero unclosed opening parens. Now we'll write the recursive helper function. Let's start with the base case, which is when we've used up all the opening parens. We'll close all the unclosed opening parens by adding closing parens equal to the number of unclosed opening parens. We'll enclose this now valid string within a list before we return since we'll be concatenating all the valid combinations. If we haven't used up all the opening parens, we now have to consider whether or not we have any unclosed opening parens. Let's first look at the case where there are no unclosed opening parens so we have to add an opening paren. We'll add an opening paren to cur, decrement the number of opening parens we have remaining, increment the number of unclosed opening parens, and return that. If we do have unclosed opening parens, we have the option to either add an opening paren or add a closing paren. Let's concatenate both cases. Adding the opening paren is similar to what we just did. When adding a closing paren, we'll add a closing paren to cur. 
The number of available opening parens remains the same, and the number of unclosed opening parens goes down one. I'll reorganize the statement so it isn't all crammed in one line. And these are all the options we have to consider. Let's run the function with n equals 3 and see if it matches what we expect. And it does. Thanks for watching to the end. If you thought the video was helpful, drop a like. If you have a question that you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more, click that subscribe button. Happy New Year's and I'll see you guys in 2018.